Hello and welcome to WePC. Now there is no question that AMD is closing the gap in the competition when it comes to CPUs right now. The trajectory that they are on will soon allow them to be the one stop for many gamers when looking to build their own PCs. However, this does come with various questions. Ryzen 3, Ryzen 5, Threadripper, Epic, what are all these words? Don't worry, I've got you. Now AMD has three brands of CPUs and in this video I'm going to explain them all to you and which is the best for your gaming. So we'll start with the bottom line. 2017 saw the release of the first Ryzen CPU and is what propelled them back into the limelight. 2017 saw the Ryzen 3, 5 and 7 enter the market. And you may ask what the difference is, well it's rather simple. Ryzen 3 was the budget CPU, Ryzen 5 being the mid-range and Ryzen 7 the high end of the bunch. And then we later saw the release of the Ryzen 9 in 2019 which is branded as the enthusiast CPU. And alongside these we have the Threadripper, the creme de la creme of the bunch. This powerful CPU offers far more cores and threads than AMD's top option the Ryzen 9 and boy does the price reflect that. But we'll touch upon that more shortly. And the final offering from AMD is the Epic which has crazy high counts which are primarily geared towards servers due to various stability and multitasking benefit. So now that we've explained what each GPU does, let's get into some details about the core and thread counts of each so that you can decide which one is right for you. Now AMD is admired for their high core and thread counts in comparison to competitors. They truly do blow the competition <coughs> Intel out of the water. If we skip the 4000 series for now and take a look at the recent Ryzen 3000 series, the Ryzen 3 generally offers four cores and eight threads and in comparison, the Ryzen 9 3950X offers 16 cores and 32 threads. Now that is a whole bunch of cores and a great amount of threads also. You'd usually call it a day and say, that's it. They can't do much better. However, the Threadripper has joined the chat, boasting cores up to 64 and 128 threads. The Epic also offers up to the same amount of cores and thread. However, I'll be perfectly honest with you, you're not gonna go and throw a Threadripper into your gaming setup anytime soon. Remember that these things usually power servers, not your late night search and destroy match in Call of Duty. In terms of cache memory, the standard Ryzen CPU has anywhere between 16 to 64 megabytes of L3 cache memory. Whereas the Threadripper comes along all Chad-like, boasting it's 128 to 256 megabytes of cache memory. And it's brought along its twin brother, the Epic, which boasts 32 to 256 megabytes. <laughs> It's really ridiculous. One big factor to consider when purchasing a CPU is your RAM. Standard Ryzen CPUs only support dual channel configurations, whereas the Threadripper can support quad channel and the Epic outshining the latter with support for eight cores. So that's pretty much the day-to-day -day operations on an AMD CPU and we're all about gaming here. So let's choose which one is best for your gaming setup. Now the Ryzen 5 and 7 are the usual picks for most gamers. And if you ask any of your friends, I'm sure at least 50% of them will have them. The simple reason for this is that they are just perfect for running high-end games without bottlenecking your GPU. And as previously mentioned, you're not going to be putting a Threadripper or Epic CPU into your build as it is just simply overkill. Unless you own a server and like to play Call of Duty on your lunch break, it's just simply not going to happen, unfortunately. <laughs> But hey, if you want to go and do it, I'm not going to judge you. So stick with a Ryzen 5 or 7 if you want to play mid to high end games pretty, pretty well. Or if you are on a budget, then why not just go for the Ryzen 3 as it still offers incredible performance, but you'll just have to drop your settings down a bit to get those higher end FPS levels. Now, obviously, one thing to consider is the price. But without going into too much detail, AMD is the best price to performance in the market right now. And if you haven't guessed it already, Ryzen 3 being the cheapest, and then the Epic and Fred Rippers being the more expensive. Thank you so much for watching our quick, quick explanation on all these incredible AMD CPUs. If you would like a more in-depth video talking specifically about each CPU, then definitely let us know in the comments down below and we'll get on that for you. If you enjoyed the video, I would love if you could leave a like on it, subscribe if you are new to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. If you click over there, then you'll get to go and see another one of our incredible videos that we know that you will enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.